Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut, and in this video we are going to have a little bit of fun. I decided to do a direct speed comparison of Windows, Ubuntu, and Manjaro XFCE, just to see the kind of differences in what comes out on top throughout various categories. And there are a couple different ones including boot time, file transfer speeds, and a couple other things. To run these tests, I'm going to be using this uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T450. It's a little bit of an older laptop, but is absolutely beautiful. I've been using it for quite some time. It is currently running a Intel i5-5300U and right around 8GB of system memory. So without wasting too much time, let's go ahead and dive on in. So first I actually ran the installation of the operating system on each of these systems. For this I only included the time of the system actually installing and I also cut out some of the rebooting time. If I included the rebooting times and the we're getting things ready for you screen that window gives you on the first boot it would have been far behind. But in this case you can see Manjaro held a lead at 1 minute and 51 seconds. Windows was right about a minute behind and Ubuntu took the longest with over 5 minutes to install. Also, I know I disconnected the Wi-Fi to all the systems and made sure there was no updates or additional third-party software to install. Once in the system, I opened the default file manager on each to see the initial response time. They were all close, but you can see them opening with almost perfect timing, first Manjaro, then Ubuntu, and Windows. Now I went ahead and took a look at some of the storage space requirements or the amount of storage space the systems were taking up after the initial install and some updates. Windows was using 16.1 gigabytes, Ubuntu was just under 6 gigabytes, and Manjaro was approaching 19 gigabytes. Next, I loaded up a USB with a large ISO file and a few media files to see if there are any significant differences in the speed of file transfer. For me, this was probably the most surprising result as Ubuntu came out far ahead of both Windows and Manjaro by nearly 30 seconds. Manjaro and Windows were basically tied, but Manjaro got a very, very slight advantage within the margin of error. Next, I decided to take a look at some of the system RAM usage on idle. Windows was sitting right about 1.5 gigabytes, Ubuntu was at 1.2 gigabytes, and Manjaro was at 500 megabytes of RAM use mostly credit to it running XFCE by default. Next, I opened up a large resolution photo. Manjaro was almost instant and then Windows loaded it right after and there was a definite noticeable wait with Ubuntu. Now I went ahead and opened up a 1080p video and it followed basically the same results as the file manager test with the video opening right to left with Manjaro first and then ending with Windows. Opening up Firefox resulted in a near tie between Windows and Manjaro with Ubuntu lagging behind Behind. And then loading up the YouTube website had Manjaro come in first with Ubuntu barely beating out Windows. Next I decided to run a Geekbench test and this ended up not being actually a very good comparison between Windows and Linux because the software does work differently between the two platforms. But anyways running this on Windows gave this ThinkPad a 2327 and Manjaro slightly beat out Ubuntu by just 4 points. Saving the best for last, I went ahead and ran a quick reboot test. I edited out the login screen and started the timer when the ThinkPad logo first showed up. Windows won this round by a good chunk of time, and then Ubuntu trailed just 4 seconds behind Manjaro. So that was my little side-by-side -side speed test comparison of these three different operating systems. If you liked it, let me know. If you want more like this or you have specific requests to have com speed comparisons on various operating systems, go ahead and let me know down below. I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye.